Cruise Chat. My name is Kathleen Penner, owner of Plenty of Sunshine Travel, and today I'm joined by Jennifer, and Jennifer's from Avalon Waterways, and we're going to be going over some of the itineraries that are out there for 2021 and 22 and beyond. So over to you. Thank you, Kathleen, and thank you, everybody, for joining us today and listening to uh, some new exotic uh, itineraries that Avalon Waterways has to offer. Um, so just in case you're not familiar with Avalon, uh, we are the river cruise line that brought the panorama suites to the European rivers. And in 2021, we'll actually be celebrating our 10th year anniversary of these iconic uh, river cruise suites. And I also just wanted to share that um, our, our cabins have actually won best cabins on the river for four consecutive years by Cruise Critic, as well as we were voted best river cruise line by Cruise Critic Cruisers in 2019. So these are two very um, esteemed awards for us, and uh, we're very proud because Cruise Critic is kind of like the Emmys for the cruising world. So these are actually voted on by passengers and uh, not a popularity vote, which is fantastic. But today I um, am going to tell you a little bit about what we're doing, um, you know, differently for 2021 and beyond. Um, I know some of you may have had River Cruise on your list of things to do for, uh, you know, 2020 or maybe early 2021. And I just wanted to let you know that we have introduced our peace of mind travel plan. So this will let you uh, have the confidence to you know, commit to your 2021 sailing, um, but it also gives you the flexibility to change or postpone your trip for any reason, okay? So it doesn't have to be the C word. Uh, it could be for any reason prior to your final payment date. And when I mean change, I mean change. So you could postpone it to something further in 2021. Um, you could change destinations. You could change just a date. Or you could even change brands with us because Avalon is part of the Globus family of brands. So if you maybe decide you're going to take a motor coach tour instead of your river cruise or vice versa, you can do that. This is complimentary. It's going to be automatically added to your booking when you book with Kathleen. And uh, like I said, so basically it's a no-brainer. Um, and the reason I, I you know, am bringing this up uh, on this particular presentation is, to be quite honest, because we've had so many clients have their 2020 plans um, changed, obviously, or, or canceled. Um, 2021 space is getting very limited. And today I'm actually going to talk about some of our exotic Avalon sailings. And these ships are very small. So um, because of reduced capacity, because of COVID and social distancing, as well as accommodating all these um, clients who have had their 2021, 2020 plans changed, there's not a lot of space. So if you are contemplating um, booking a river cruise for 2021, I would say, you know what, you have, go ahead, pick your uh, amazing itinerary with us and know that you can, you have that flexibility to change if needed. All right. So again, with Avalon, you know, we are unique in the fact that we give you a choice of included excursions to um, partake in on your daily itinerary. Uh, and these are broken down into three different uh, themes. So there's the classic, which are must see, must do type of experiences. Then there's my favorite, which are the discovery uh, excursions. So these are very interactive. You'll probably get your hands dirty because they'll involve a cooking class or something like that. Um, but these are my favorite because they're very um, immersive in the culture. You get to meet locals. Uh, and to me, that's all what traveling is about, is learning more about the culture of these amazing destinations that we're bringing to you. And yeah, then, I yeah. think that one would be my favorite sure. as well. That's definitely my favorite too. I really like being immersed into the local culture and to do that. And that's something I really would enjoy. Yes. Yeah. It's the best way to um, experience a destination for sure. Mm -hmm. So 
So our active, um, on our uh, exotic sailings, there's not a lot of active excursions, but there are a few. Uh, but these are just as they sound. So they're paddling, hiking, that sort of thing. Um, but uh, don't worry if you choose an active as one of your options and then you change your mind, you can always um, flip those around on the ship and uh, you know, you're not stuck in a active excursion. If you uh, wake up sore, or like I said, you heard everybody bragging about some of the discovery excursions and you decide you want to change it to one of those. So today I'm going to talk about beyond Europe. So you may not realize that we actually offer some uh, more exotic destinations, um, but these are, like I said, smaller ships. Some of them hold only 16 people prior to COVID. And I really wanted to sort of um, keep these top of mind for you moving forward um, where you might not want to be in a larger vessel. So, uh, starting off with our Mekong ship. So we have the Avalon Saigon, beautiful ship. She's actually been rated as a five-star experience by Cruise Critic. Mm -hmm. um, like I said, you know, it's traveling in these exotic destinations with Avalon um, is just a perfect way to experience some of these more, uh, you know, culturally diverse uh, destinations because we take you along the legendary rivers of Asia and it's an unforgettable fusion of distinctive sites, colorful cultures, and ancient traditions. And we always focus on an intimate experience with exceptional personalized service on all of our sweet ships. So this ship, just to let you know, she uh, normally holds 36 passengers, but because of social distancing, that will we will be reducing capacity. Uh, so like I said, if you are um, thinking of sailing the Mekong with us, I would suggest that you book sooner rather than later. One thing I love about our Saigon ship is the fact that uh, she does have a panorama suite. So this is actually a photo of the panorama suite uh, from the outside, so the beds facing the view that we're famous for. Um, they are a little bit larger than our European cabins, so if you've sailed with us in Europe, uh, that will be a big plus. And um, the, they're about 245 square feet. And on our Mekong ship, there's only two decks, which is amazing. So, um, you know, like I said, they're very easy to navigate. And uh, the window here with the panorama suite is actually larger as well than our European cabins. So it's 14 feet wide and opens to 11 feet to let the outside in. So you'll get some uninterrupted, stunning views while you're sailing down the Mekong. Mm -hmm. So there's just another view of the cabin from a different angle. So we still have our seating area. They're almost identical to the European suites with the lots of you know storage area. Um, the beds are higher up, of course, and we have beautiful bathrooms on our Mekong ships as well, all marble and very well lit. And we have a shower, which is great. So it's a nice large shower. No, no reason to, uh, you know, be a contortionist while trying to shave your legs, ladies. Um, like I said, we bring this five-star experience to you on the Mekong. Now, these are just some photos of the ship itself. So um, I love this ship because of the mahogany and in the um, you know, saturated colors that you kind of, you know, you think about Asia and you think about reds and yellows and blues and greens. So the ship itself, um, the panorama suite, or sorry, the panorama lounge that you're looking at here is, of course, air conditioned. Uh, we have our open seating um, panorama dining room. There's complimentary Wi-Fi access on in the lounge. Uh, there's also a spa on board, which is a bit different from our European ships. There still is a fitness room, so if you wanted to work out, you can do that. Uh, and we also have a library and games room. Now, uh, the bar, which is featured here, of course, 
Uh, it serves premium spirits, wine, complimentary coffee, tea, soft drinks, and local beer spirits throughout the day. And there's, of course, filtered water stations throughout the ship. And you'll get a refillable bottle that you can use as well on your excursions while you're out and about. So this is just the observation lounge. So lots of uh, covered areas so you don't get a sunburn. And this is the incredible dining room. Now, if you have sailed with us in Europe and you know our, you know, our amazing culinary experiences on board, you will be blown away by our dining um, on the Mekong. So the, the, the food on the Mekong is exceptional. So like I said, if you enjoyed sailing with us in Europe, you will be blown away by your dining experience uh, on the, on the uh, Saigon. Here is spa. And I'm just going to highlight our probably our most popular itinerary for the Mekong. So this is fascinating Vietnam, Cambodia, Mekong. Um, it's a 13-day CM rate to Ho Chi Minh City. So Cambodia into Vietnam. Uh, this is actually the southbound itinerary. We do it in the reverse as well. But um, one thing I wanted to mention is when you fly into Siem Reap, um, your hotel room will be available for mid-afternoon check-in. So you're not going to have to uh, camp out in the lobby or wait till you know, later in the day. Most uh, you know, international flights into Asia, they do arrive early morning. So uh, you don't have to wait too, too long to get your room. And sorry. <laughs> Sorry, Kathleen. That's okay. I just said that's perfect. It's nice not to have to sit around with all your luggage and wait exactly. and wait. That's great. Exactly. Yeah. So you can kind of get into your room, you know, have a snooze, have a shower, um, sort of shake off some of your jet lag maybe. Um, and then the nice thing about it is you're in CM Reap for three nights. And uh, the first day, again, you will you might be a bit, you know, jet lag. So it might just be a quick shower, nap, and then... Um, you know, off to dinner. Uh, but then the second day, we actually have a lot of included excursions in your, your land um, component of this itinerary, which is fabulous. Um, you're going to go off and see, you know, the, the temples. You, can, you have two options. You can either do it in a classic version where well, you'll be going off to explore by Tuk Tuk. Or if you wanted to partake in an active excursion, you can actually go and explore the temples by bike. So, like I said, lots of different ways to, um, you know, experience uh, CM Reap. And we have a discovery excursion that evening or um, presentation where we'll actually have a, a private dance performance that night on board. So, like I said, you know, it, it's a great way to see Asia uh, because it is a combo of land and cruise. The only thing I will caution you is, um, you know, our because our ships are smaller, they actually get into some of these smaller towns and villages. So once you're on board the ship, I would just recommend that um, you make sure that um, you are steady on your feet. Uh, because a lot of times when we're tendering in for shore excursions, they might be a little challenging as far as footing is concerned. It might be a little muddy. Um, it, so like I said, just kind of keep that in mind, um, when you're booking, um, uh, our Mekong discovery. And then once you're, uh, on day three, we'll actually fly down to the Mekong, uh, and jump on the ship for seven incredible nights. Of course, your meals are included, your excursions are included. As I mentioned, Wi-Fi is included, uh, in the lounge. Really, the only out-of-pocket expenses you would have um, would be spa treatments if you decide to partake in any of those, um, any top-shelf drinks outside of dining times, and um, any optional excursions that you might wish to purchase and supplement your day-to-day -day itinerary. And then once we're done sailing on the Mekong, we'll have two incredible nights in Ho Chi Minh City. Again, we have excursions included for you here as well. So you're never really on your own. Um, you know, you will uh, be able to, 
to still go off and ex- have a lot of free time to go off and experience and pursue any passions or interests that you may have um, while you're in CM Reap or Ho Chi Minh City. But we do have a lot of um, included experiences for you as well. Now, if you know Asia is not your thing, maybe the Mekong, you've done it before. Um, it, but this is another really popular destination with us, which is India and the Ganges. So um, this is an incredible experience. This is our ship there, the Ganges Voyager. So prior to COVID, she was 56 passengers. So keep in mind that will be reduced for 2021 sailings um, for social distancing practices. But uh, she is a beautiful, beautiful vessel. She gives you a very, you know, she offers you a very warm and relaxed experience. Um, and it, the ship takes you back in time, sort of like to colonial to- the colonial era with warm wood furniture and hand stenciled mur- murals throughout the ship and the cabins. So the ship itself actually um, has an indoor air-conditioned lounge. Again, the bar serves premium spirits, wine, and complimentary coffee, tea, and soft drinks, and local beer spirits throughout the day. Uh, There's complimentary Wi-Fi in the lounges, uh, fitness room, library games, and again, this ship also has a spa room. So this particular uh, cabin is the leading cabin, if you can believe it. This is our deluxe suite, 260 square feet. And you can see some of the attention to detail on this ship. There's so many, there's so many um, curves and um, the, like I said, the stenciling. This is a great example of the stenciling, not only on the wall, but on the ceiling as well. So these are in, an incredible ship. I haven't actually experienced this ship myself, but really want to. Um, the cabin also features a mini bar, and of course, we have uh, individual climate controls in each cabin as well. So I'm just going to show you a couple of other of the cabins here. This ship is very unique in um, the cabins are also very individual, so they're not as um, you know, I don't want to say cookie cutter, but they all have their own personalities. So that's why I'm, I'm showing you a little bit, a uh, little bit more of the, the cabins themselves. So this is the heritage suite with the four poster bed, 280 square feet. This is the Versaroy suite. Beautiful again. Absolutely gorgeous. Isn't it stunning? And yeah. the floors, it's just a beautiful, beautiful um, ship for sure. The details, all these small little details that you just pick out the more you look at it, like the stained glass and just gorgeous. Yep. I know. They're incredible. They really, really are. And then this is the Matahara suite. So she's 400 square feet, um, much larger. I think that's bigger than my first apartment in Toronto. Um, and this is the bathroom. Now, I'm a bathroom. Girl, so uh, this is really exciting to me. <laughs> Again, all the stenciling by hand and um, the texture with the tile and, and that incredible window. So um, like I said, beautiful, beautiful uh, cabins here. This is just the uh, dining area. Now, the dining room serves, of course, Indian cuisine, but also Western favorites. So you don't have to worry about, you know, things being too spicy and things like that. So you can still get a cheeseburger if you want to. Um, Of course, you know, for 2021, we will not have any buffets on any of our ships. So um, this will all be replaced with a staff served um, a la carte uh, type of dining. Right. Here's the beautiful lounge and the spa room. Very relaxing. That's gorgeous. Yeah, it's it's like I said, it's a beautiful uh, ship for sure. And this is the observation lounge. So again, you know, it can be quite hot in India, um, even in the winter. Um, so again, we make sure that you have a covered area so that you um, can get out of the sun if you like. And this is just a quick um, deck plan so you can see there's not many cabins. 
on board. Um, but we went every single um, photo of each cabin type. So you know exactly what you're, you're booking into. Um, but like I said, the deluxe suites are breathtaking. And um, that's what we have the most as far as availability is concerned. And now this is the most popular itinerary um, for India. I love it because, again, I'm all about the combination of land and cruise. Uh, so, you know, we're gonna, this is the um, colorful India in the Ganges River. It's 13 days, Delhi to Kolkata. And so this, you'll fly into Delhi. You'll spend two nights there, two nights in Agra, and two nights in Jaipur. So, you know, we're giving you lots of time to, you know, see sunrise and sunsets, to visit the Taj Mahal and get those, you know, Instagram uh, photos to make all of your friends and neighbors jealous. Um, there's a sun weaving workshop. There's a water blessing as well. Um, of course, you'll go and visit Mother Teresa's home. Uh, so lots to do. And these are all included with your Avalon Waterways India experience. And then we're going to fly you down to Calcutta. And that um, intra air flight is, uh, oh, sorry, intra land flight is also included in the price. Then we'll jump on the ship for six mm -hmm. and nights. So this itinerary is the best of both worlds because you get to do your golden triangle and see those iconic land sites. Um, but India, quite frankly, can be a bit overstimulating. Uh, it's very loud. It's very busy. Um, the smells are incredible. The colors are vibrant. And so it's nice to kind of do it in this way where you do land first and then you get to relax and sort of decompress and really see the Ganges from a different perspective on the river. Yeah, that's an excellent point. Yeah, because it is very busy. It's very populated. So it's nice to have that last little bit just very tranquil and, and spread out. Exactly. And we're very excited because we're going back into Egypt. Um, this is the MS Farah, uh, 56 cabins. Uh, again, that will be reduced for 2021 sailings. We do have two royal suites on board, but as you can see from these slides, our, you know, our service levels um, are incredible because when you look at the crew to client ratio, um, you know, or passenger ratio, it's, uh, you know, usually one to one or two to one. So um, you will definitely be pampered when you're sailing with us. So this is, this is our uh, 10 day taste of Egypt. So again, a combination. And, you know, I, I, again, love that sort of, um, you know, combination of land and cruise, because we want you to see as much of that particular destination as possible. These are just or bucket list type of, um, you know, trips, right? So we want you to fly into Cairo, have three nights there, get over your jet lag, have a great meal, have some included sightseeing. And then of course, we're going to fly you down to Luxor you're going to jump on the ship for four incredible evenings, and then we're going to fly you back up to uh, Cairo uh, to end your trip with us. Now, the ship itself, it, oops, I went backwards, my bad, sorry about that, guys. Uh, before I get into the ship, we actually, for 2021, have added a incredible Jordan extension. So... Once you're done doing all of your Egypt sightseeing, your Nile cruise, on the second day back in Cairo, we're going to fly you to Amman. Uh, this now turns into a 14-day grand adventure, uh, and you'll get to you know check off two amazing destinations off your bucket list. Uh, you'll spend one night in Amman. There will be free time as well as some sightseeing in Amman as well. And then we're going to transfer to Petra, where, of course, you're going to have some iconic uh, sightseeing there, uh, the foundry, and um, have one night in Petra. And then we will uh, end our trip in um, the Dead Sea. So you'll actually get to spend two nights there, 
in an incredible hotel. I love that hotel. Um, and then we'll transfer you at the end of your second evening back to Amman for your flight home. But like I said, if you're going to fly all that way to Egypt and you do have Jordan on your bucket list, this is a fantastic way uh, to see all the highlights of Jordan as well. So this is Aspera. You wouldn't think this is a ship. This looks like a boutique hotel. Uh, very tranquil, I have to say. And um, some of the awesome uh, amenities of this ship. There's an onboard cooking class that you can partake in to learn how to cook Egyptian cuisine. And you'll get a diploma upon um, your completion, which is kind of cool. Great to meet. Yeah. Yeah, it's a great, uh, you know, um, it's a great keepsake. And uh, there's a special library on board. There's, you'll have fruit baskets and cookies and can canapes and nuts in your cabin when you get in there. Uh, so you can have a quick little nosh. Um, there's a sauna and a steam room, which are complimentary that you can use to your, your, um, your leisure. There's also a pool and a pool bar, which is very unique. Uh, and of course, we'll take make sure that your your arrival onto the ship is spectacular with a welcome drink and you know, there's you know towel service and things like that. So this is the deluxe stateroom. So this is the leading cabin. Um, some some aspects of the cabin amenities a little bit different from our other ships is. This one also uh, has a kettle with tea and coffee in the cabin, which is a bit unique, um, but it's great because then you don't have to get dressed or call room service and things like that. Uh, so you can make a quick coffee. Um, mini bar is in uh, these cabins as well, and they also have a bathtub. So this is just a picture of the bathroom. So again, um, you think you're in a five-star hotel, um, very clean, very bright, amazing bathtub again. And then this is the uh, Royal Suite. So there's two on each ship. Uh, they are 430 square feet. As you can see, they have the amazing beds with a view um, and, you know, lots of windows so you can let the outside in. Uh, there's a seating area, which is quite large. And I just wanted to sort of uh, point out, we're a bit unique with Avalon. All of our royal suites on any of our ships are located midship. And there are some other companies out there that put their, their suites at the back of the ship. Um, we don't do that because that's where the engines tend to be. And uh, it can be loud depending on, you know, um, that particular water level and sailing and things like that. So we don't want to disrupt your sleep or uh, your time in your cabin. So like I said, we put our Royal Suites midship for that reason. And this is another bathroom shot of the Royal Suites. Some interior shots of the Amasfera, amazing um, staircase, very minimalist in design and very modern. Um, our lounge, but again, it's you know designed so that you don't really have a bad view of the river. Um, you can always see some spectacular scenery while you're sailing with us. There's the, bat, uh, the pool. Mm, it's nice. And the pool bar. <laughs> Lots of lounge chairs, both covered and non not covered. So if you did want to get some sun, you can. And there's the spa room and, of course, the sauna that you can, uh, the sauna you can use complimentary. All right. So let's head to South America. So we have uh, some incredible Peruvian itineraries. And today I'm going to show you um, our Amazon itinerary. Um, the ship that we use in the Amazon is the Delphin 3. So 44 passengers prior to COVID. Um, this ship is actually built for the 
Amazon. Um, and we built her specifically to, you know, for functionality because the water level can be a bit lower uh, in the Amazon. So uh, structurally, she was built for the for that type of environment. But we also wanted to make sure that we provided you with extraordinary comfort and style while enjo- while enjoying um, these incredible views of the rainforest while you're sailing by. Uh, and there's only four different suite types, so it's very easy to um, decide which is best for you. And of course, they um, boast the beds with a view with most of them. So this is the um, lead-in. Mm-hmm. Very, um, you know, with the beds with a view, again, you're not going to spend a lot of time in your cabin with this particular itinerary. There's so much to do. Um, so like I said, you know, um, floor to ceiling windows, they don't open, um, but that's really for your own safety. Um, so, cause there are piranhas in the Amazon. We don't want anybody going for a swim. Um, so like I said, but they give you an unobstructed view of some of this incredible once in a lifetime scenery. Here's the bathroom again, marble, you know, huge, uh, shower again. And then this is the uh, suite. That view is stunning. Those curved windows really, really make your view gorgeous. Aren't they beautiful? And uh, again, a small seating area. So if you can, you know, entertain in your cabin. Um, all of the cabins have fine Peruvian linens, uh, complimentary filtered water uh, in your cabins. And this is the corner suite. There's only two of them on the ship. Uh, king bed, stocked mini bar, complimentary laundry is available as well. Oh, I apologize. I lied to you. This is actually the owner suite. My apologies. There's only one of these. Um, 597 square feet. So that is bigger than my first apartment. It uh, is king, large, yes. Isn't it huge? Uh, yeah. There's a dining table over there. Um, so there's a king bed here, mini bar, uh, there's complimentary laundry service. So both with this, uh, owner suite and the previous cabin with the, um, curved windows. So you can have uh, 10 pieces of laundry, um, done for you twice per cruise. Uh, there's a complimentary 60 minute spa treatment per guest when sailing with us as well. And you can even request a scented bath. So they will come in and prepare uh, a luxury bath for you, um, which is a nice way to celebrate, um, you know, this incredible experience. This is the uh, bathroom for the owner suite. So a cloth foot tub, again, marble. And um, I love that mirrored um, image of the trees, of the, you know, the bamboo trees. So it kind of brings the outside in. And then this lounge, our bar. (laughs) And of course the dining room. So the dining room uh, does serve Peruvian uh, cuisine, plus of course, Western, just in case. Um, you know, you've had, you wanted to experience uh, and try some Peruvian cuisine, you can do that, but there's always going to be Western favorites for you as well. This is the spa room uh, for the dolphin, hot tub, and just to give you a quick overview of the deck plan. So again, not many cabins, very intimate um but like i said a once in a lifetime experience this is our most popular um trip for the amazon um <clears throat> so this is the uh, inca sorry this is the um from the inca empire to the peruvian amazon it's 11 days lima to lima and this is probably my favorite itinerary where it's a combo because you're going to fly into lima get acclimatized again, although there isn't really a lot of jet lag when you're flying into Lima, but it's usually an early morning flight uh, when you arrive. So sometimes, you know, you just need a little nap. Uh, There will be uh, excursions included in Lima as well. 
All of your intra land flights are also included here. And there is quite a few flights, um, but it's well worth it. because We want to give you the best Peru experience possible. You're going to spend uh, two nights in Cusco, one night in Machu Picchu. And this is really um, a highlight of uh, the trip, Machu Picchu, because you get to, you actually have two days of entrance fees. Um, included with your Avalon Waterways um, Peruvian uh, adventure. Uh, so this is great. You get to experience both sunrise and sunset again. But the best part is you're staying at the base of Machu Picchu in this incredible boutique hotel uh, called the Sumac Hotel. So it's one of my favorite boutique hotels, and um, it's just incredible. A lot of other companies, they'll sort of bust you out uh, into this, into the, you know, um, a neighboring town or back to the sacred Valley or back to Cusco, um, where we do that. We want you to, you know, your time's limited here. So we want you to be right smack dab in the heart of the town. Um, you'll go off and experience the sacred Valley and then fly up to the Amazon for three nights on the Delphin. Um, where, you know, not only do you sail the Delphin and the Amazon, but there's um, expert naturalists on board. So there's a lot of um, there's a lot of information on evenings uh, where they'll explain to you the flora and fauna that you're going to be seeing throughout the Amazon and the history of the Amazon, which is awesome. And then you'll end your trip in Lima. Or if you didn't want to end your trip, you could also add the Galapagos on to your Peruvian adventure. <laughs> Sorry, I'm losing my voice. <clears throat> Sorry about that. Uh, yes, so it is the treasure of the Galapagos. 16 passengers uh, before COVID. So this will probably be maxed out at about 10 passengers, depending on um, if it's you know, the same um, group of people traveling together, it might be, uh, you, you know, you could have more than 10, but we probably will cap it at 10 uh, moving forward. Um, but one thing with Galapagos is there's a lot of companies that do the Galapagos. Our ship is one of the smallest. Um, and that's important, not just for the environment, um, but we get into all these little nooks and crannies that the Galapagos Islands have to offer. Mm -hmm. so, crew on board so again an incredible ratio for service uh, and a naturalist on board as well so um, you know we really try to go beyond traditional cruising in this area and uh, give you the most intimate experience possible and one thing to note we a lot of other companies will have um, you know guests from different different uh, companies on board where we don't do that. So this, this, this ship will strictly be um, Avalon clients. So, which is nice. And just some interior shots here. So you know what you're getting into. Uh, this is the uh, leading cabin. Again, 215 uh, square feet. Uh, complimentary water in the rooms, of course. <clears throat> And there's a private balcony here. This is one of our only uh, ships that actually has a balcony, but it's amazing to kind of sit out there in the morning and catch the sunrise or in the evening with a glass of wine and catch the sunset. Um, the ship itself, just to let you know, it has a jacuzzi on board. There's complimentary use of snorkeling equipment, uh, complimentary water 24 seven, as well as tea and coffee. Uh, there's an expedition lecture on board. So, you know, you'll learn all about the incredible um, flora and fauna of this region that is only in this region. Uh, multilingual naturalists on board. Um, there's all outside cabins. So you have no interior cabin. So you're all going to have uh, a window so you can you know, sit outside on your balcony and um, or, you know, if it's a little chilly, uh, you can still get an incredible view uh, from inside your cabin. There's a private guided shore excursion. So I see this is, you know, something that really sets us apart. Again, a lot of companies will sort of consolidate and have um, their clients join other uh, tours uh, for these excursions, and we don't. Ours are completely private, completely just for Avalon guests. 
There's complimentary wine on, with all onboard dinners, and there's complimentary snacks throughout the day. And this is just another view of the, um, the suite, the leading cabin here. And then we do have a master suite. It's 430 square feet, king bed, a uh, private living area that's, that does have a sofa bed. So if someone snores, you can put them in there and shut the door. <laughs> but it's also good. Uh, it's entertaining. And there's two private bal uh, balconies with this suite as well. And I just wanted to highlight this deck plan just for um, a couple of reasons. I just wanted to point out there's only three cabins that are uh, configured for double uh, occupancy. And we have five cabins that are twins, so the two beds separate. So this is a, a, great, um, a great destination for families, we find. And we get a lot of multi-generational uh, you know, uh, clients on board. So something to think about. And um, like I said, it's a very intimate ship and it will only be Avalon guests. So it's, um, if you are wanting a double cabin, you do have to book it very, very soon. Uh, because like I said, they're a little bit more limited on board than our twin bedded. Right. And thinking of the families, too, that's something that's so important with everybody having to homeschool and doing the distance learning. This is totally hands on learning. And that's the best place to teach your kids. Right. So exactly. to sending your family on that is, is just amazing. It would be the best like that would be such memories and the best way they can learn all about the wildlife and everything. Exactly. No, I totally agree. And, you know, the 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 Galapagos is incredible um you know and for for kids um they will just be blown away and like you said there'll be a lifetime of memories made uh in the galapagos oops sorry this is the interior dining area so they serve ecuadorian cuisine as well as international um at, normally we would have one sitting for dinner but for 2021 uh, we will be staggering it uh, if there are guests on board that are not in the same travel bubble. Um, so if you're one family and you're on board together, of course, you'll be dining together. But if there's guests on board that are not from your traveling party, then uh, we, we will you know, stagger the times um, or have them dine in a different uh, area. Because the other option is you can dine al fresco. And personally, I would dine upstairs if possible, so you can take in as much of the Galapagos as possible. And of course, uh, there's complimentary wine with dinner as well. We don't serve a lot of um, wine, um, you know. Out, well, we don't. We don't serve a lot of alcohol um, during the day on board the Galapagos ship, just because a lot of people are out snorkeling and things like that. So snorkeling and alcohol, not really a good combination. <laughs> so <Not> really, no. <laughs> Very um, serene. And uh, like I said, you don't spend too, too much time here, but this is where the expedition lectures and um, your meeting with the naturalists will take place. And it's just a great little uh, hangout, you know, to read a book or to uh, swap photos of your daily uh, excursion and all the wildlife that you uh, took pictures of that day. This is up top. Again, covered area if you don't want to get too much sun. And there's the jacuzzi. Now, this is our most popular uh, itinerary for the Galapagos. It's called Ecuador and its Galapagos Islands. It's an eight-day vacation, five days of sailing on this ship. So this is my on my bucket list for sure. Um, you'll fly into Quito and have two days there, and then we'll fly you into the islands. Um, and like I said, you know, keep in mind there are many companies that do Galapagos, but our ship is one of the teeniest and uh, that's how we can get into all of these uh, small islands and really give you a true Galapagos experience. Um, you know, on board, you're going to visit islands and see tortoises, penguins, uh, blue-footed boobies like the photo here or red-footed boobies, uh, sea lions, 
But I think the most um, incredible part of a Galapagos trip is you actually get to follow in Charles Darwin's footsteps. And, you know, that's just uh, incredible, you know, um, to go back and, and think, you know, that he discovered the Galapagos and all of the, um, you know, all of the, all of the experiments and, um, you know, um, that he did and, you know, how it evolved, um, you know, to, to what we know it as today. And again, the flora, the flora and fauna that you're seeing here, um, in some aspects, you can't see anywhere else in the world, which is incredible. Uh, so we'll visit the Charles Darwin Center, which is included. Uh, well, there's an excursion to Sullivan Bay to walk on lava flows, which is awesome. Uh, there's a guided uh, hike to visit the iconic Peninsula Rock. And this is where you'll, uh, sorry, Pinnacle Rock. This is where you'll see the sea lions and the penguins. There's reef sharks, huge turtles. Uh, on North Seymour Island, uh, there's a naturalist-led excursion to uh, visit the blood-footed boobies, as well as the magnificent frigate birds. They have the big red chests that pop up, and their wingspan um, is seven feet or greater, which is incredible. Nice. And yeah, it's, it's honestly, it's such a diverse area of the world. Um, there's also coral beaches, white coral beaches. So you have the lava flows, then you have the coral beaches where you'll see some sea lions, lots of iguanas. <laughs> and, um, and then, like I said, you'll get to uh, actually walk in Charles Darwin's footsteps and go and see the remains of Kicker Rock, which is uh, make sure you have your cameras. Uh, it's an incredible experience. And an extra memory stick because you never know if you're going to fill it, right? Exactly, exactly. So, like I said, you know, there are a lot of options. You could add um, Galapagos to the Peruvian adventure if you wanted to. Um, and these are some other options if you wanted to make uh, the Galapagos the highlight of your vacation. So there's Ecuador and its Galapagos Islands with the Amazon. So that would be the last two itineraries uh, that I showed, or there's a go discover the Galapagos with Peru, and then there's discover the Galapagos with Peru and Amazon. So believe me, uh, we can really, um, you know, tick off all of your per Peru and Galapagos um, bucket list destinations. So we have some current promotions. Most of them are booking deposit by November 9th, which is just around the corner. Uh, time flies. Um, but uh, just a couple to note, we do have saved $2,600 per couple on select 2021 and 2022 Mekong sailings, uh, as well as the Ganges. So keep in mind, very intimate uh, vessels and with reduced capacity for 2021, I would suggest booking earlier rather than later. Plus, you have the peace of mind flexibility to change or postpone if needed. Um, also, we have saved $1,300 per couple on select 21 and 22 Galapagos sailings. So that's a huge, huge promotion. I have never seen the Galapagos on sale. Um, but like I said, it does book quickly because of the size of the ship. So if you do have Galapagos on your bucket list, I would suggest booking sooner rather than later, especially for 21. And something uh, to note, we're very proud of the fact that we do waive the single supplement on a lot of our itineraries. So mm -hmm. we, have, uh, we have extended it uh, for the Mekong and Ganges. So if you are a solo traveler, you're not going to you know, pay double because you're traveling solo. Um, and this is book and deposit by December 31st. I have to say um, river cruising, especially with the exotic ships, perfect way to travel as a solo traveler. Uh, you will meet people during the day um, and a lot of your activities are included. So, you, you know, you don't have to worry about um, trying to organize those on your own. Uh, and then, of course, on your free time, you can be as social or antisocial as you like. So, but it's a great way for solo travelers uh, to tick off uh, some of their destinations from their list as well. And we do have the welcome back credit. So you will get a credit with us when you return. 
This varies from $125 to $275 per person. Uh, it's automatic, and Kathleen will also get a copy of it. Uh, so she will keep track of this to um, when it expires. So it is valid for two years. So you have three years uh, to travel. So uh, very flexible again. And it's our way of saying thank you for traveling with us. And of course, you can use it on any of our brands. And that's it for me. Wonderful. Well, that was amazing. Thank you so much. Some of those itineraries and the ships look phenomenal. I can't get over the attention to detail. It's just amazing to see. Yes, they, uh, they're they very, um, you know, they all have their own personalities, but they are truly spectacular. So thank you for letting me share them with uh, you and your clients today. And I hope I've inspired you to um, think outside of Europe and uh, maybe book something a little bit more exotic next time you travel. Yes. Well, thank you so much. Have a great day, everyone. Bye-bye. Bye. Hey, everybody. I hope you enjoyed this week's presentation with Avalon Waterways. It was just fabulous to see all their amazing itineraries. I loved some of those ships, especially the one that goes to India. I think the attention to detail is just beyond amazing with the stenciling on the walls and those bathrooms were just gorgeous. I hope you enjoyed it as well. If you'd like to see uh, the show notes that I do, just click the link in the bottom of the page here on YouTube in the description and it will bring you to my blog post. And on my blog post, I will have some of the slides that we discussed so that you can see them up closer and see some of those pictures again and more information on the promotions and all the stuff that we have. Next week, I'm going to be meeting with Celebrity Cruises, and we're going to be going over some of their great stuff that they offer. And it's nice to see all the different things that each cruise line offers and everything that they have. So I really appreciate you watching. Thank you so much. And remember to like and subscribe to our channel. This way you can see all the information when it comes out. I put out a new cruise chat video every single Thursday around 11 a.m. is kind of the goal that I put it out for, but it's always out on every single Thursday. And if you subscribe, you'll get notification of it first, as opposed to waiting for me to put it on my Facebook page. And then that way um, you can just get a notification as soon as it comes out. Speaking of my Facebook page, come and join me on Facebook. It's Plenty of Sunshine Travel. Um, and get in on the conversation and you can ask questions and just interact with everybody there. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to sail with you soon and see you on board. Have a great week, everyone. Bye.